We've got one for you. We're going to do the Waikiki Rough Water Swim. 2.4 miles. We'll start off on the Round the Island bike race, 115 miles. We'll knock three miles off of it. So that puts us at Aloha Tower, the starting spot for the Honolulu Marathon. About 140 miles, we're going to do it all in one day. That's right, and whoever crawls across the finish line first, we'll call him the Iron Man. To most who were at that gathering, Commander John Collins' challenge sounded crazy, but 15 men showed up for the first Iron Man, and astonishingly, 12 finished. The early Iron Men were mavericks, most of them, part-time jobs and a full-time addiction to exercise. The hole in the head of the trophy it seemed to make sense. Here comes the sun. Dawn, ten years after that first Iron Man. The scene has changed from Oahu to the Big Island of Hawaii. The entry list has grown from 15 to over 1,200. A doctor, a lawyer, a teacher, artist, a nun, men and women from 32 countries. Last year, there we go. The 1988. So it began, the 12th Ironman Triathlon. Ahead, a 2.4 mile swim, 112 miles on the bike, and then a marathon. Any athlete entering this event will have done in preparation a volume of exercise unthinkable to the average person. Someone who has been involved with endurance sports all over your screen. The swimming course takes you out to the boats in the foreground, then back to the pier. Water temperature, about 77 degrees. There are marshals on motor scooters to make sure that every competitor has the same advantages for optimum pace. Mike Pig was away first, Mark Allen right behind. And a few seconds later, Scott Molina rode His revolutionary tri-spoke wheel was thought to be worth a few minutes over the 112-mile ride. But two minutes into the race, he's lost that with a flat. Three minutes later, he was back on the bike chasing the leaders and maybe doubting the reward. Mark Allen, in fourth, arrived at the turnaround two minutes after Molina had gone through and seemed to be in trouble. Another flat. It would take him more than five minutes this time before he replaced the wheel and was underway again. Despite his valiant effort, Mark Allen would not again be a contender for the lead. Ironic, this man who had so much confidence in his body was let down by his machine. Allen who has twice managed to lead him near the end of the race, only to wind up like this. Allen has won virtually every major triathlon in the world, except the Ironman. These are not everyday bikes. Each one costs roughly $3,000. Here comes a barefoot Mark Allen. His shoes are already attached to the pedals. Scott, underway. Allen is undefeated in the last nine triathlons he has run, including the World Championship in Avignon, France. In the lava fields inland of the Kona coast, it is two hours into the Bud Light Ironman triathlon. The heat shimmers on the Queen K, and a pack of the best triathletes in the business chase this man, Wolfgang Dietrich. Dietrich's lead shrinks with each mile. He is now just two minutes, 20 seconds ahead of the chase pack. But this is the traditional pattern of the Ironman. The top swimmers seem to evaporate on Wolfgang Dietrich, still leading 45 miles into the bike segment, knows that although he has done much already, there is much left to do. Mike Adam into the race. The point Dave Scott says the Ironman really begins. If Scott is right, then Dietrich begins with a three minute lead and his pace is fast. He's roughly nine minutes ahead of Scott's record pace. Five and a half hours into the race, and this man, 27-year-old Wolfgang Dietrich of West Germany, has led most of the way since the start at 7 o'clock this morning. First, and Mark Allen head for the transition area. Their personal bests in the marathon over an hour faster than Dietrich's. Dave Scott and Mark Allen are triathlon's definitive rivalry. In previous Ironman battles, Allen has tried to break Scott with a speed, only to break himself. He has learned from his mistakes. Today, instead, he has matched Scott mile for mile.
No one, not Scott or Allen, nor even Dietrich himself, thought he would be leading this late in the race. Dave Scott's pursuit begins. It should be noted that he has never been passed for good by anyone on an Ironman run, and that this apparently choppy style, which comes from running towed out, is highly effective. Mark Allen with his classic fluid style following Scott. The course they are closing in with each stride, Scott and Allen. And the Hunter. Three miles into the marathon. Wolfgang Dietrich has led this race for over five hours. Scott and Allen blow by him as if he never existed. Where there were three, there are now two. And Mark Allen, previously content behind Dave Scott, has pulled out abreast of him. The race this sport has waited for has begun. Dave Scott and Mark Allen have covered a little over four miles now. They're averaging approximately six minutes per mile, which would put them in the vicinity of a two-hour and 40-minute marathon, something that's never been done before to the Ironman. The natural rivalry between Scott and Allen is heightened because they are so fundamentally different. They are at different stages of their lives. They are different in temperament and lifestyle, different in the way they train. Mark Allen needs this victory to fulfill the life he has devoted so totally to this sport. But to win, he must take something from Dave Scott, Scott's identity almost. Scott's job is to stop him. The leaders with 14 men, four miles to go. Do it. That was Anna, Dave's wife. Hey guys, hang in there. Oh guys, go. Hey. With neither man giving in, Dave and Mark have driven each other to another plateau. They are once again averaging an incredible six minutes per mile. It is clear that Scott's three-year-old Ironman record will be broken. The only question, who will break it? to go. This is the final uphill on the course. Exactly, into the race. 
Allen looking back. Allen has made a move and Scott appears unable to answer it. In 1982, Mark Allen couldn't finish. In 83, he was third. In 84, fifth. In 86 and 87, he was second. In 88, fifth. And finally now, in his seventh Ironman for Mark Allen, the long quest for victory is over. Just less than a minute later, Dave Scott on Alihi Drive, the scene of triumph for him in other years. Today, things are different. Thank <laughs> you.